So on this channel, we talk a lot about um, real estate and real estate as a retirement vehicle and the benefits of it. Today is a little bit different because I wanted to give you some actionable um, information that perhaps you can use in your next deal. Um, so as everyone knows, um, real estate goes through cycles. Sometimes it's a buyer's market, sometimes it's a seller's market. And it's been a seller's market for a while, for probably the past three or four years. You know, they've gotten exactly what they've wanted. Uh, but we built our portfolio predominantly in a uh, buyer's market. So what that means is there's more sellers than there are buyers and buyers get to pretty much dictate the deal that they want to get in the uh, negotiations, you know, obviously within reason. But uh, again, today, just wanted to share uh, one of our strategies and, and it's really more of a fishing strategy. And what we do is um, we put out, so in a buyer's market, um, and, and we're rapidly approaching a buyer's market, it, it's much like fishing and, and lowballing or putting an inferior price out there. We see houses listed at, let's just say 100,000 for a round number. $100,000 home does great for cash flow and for rental purposes, section eight purposes for the cash flow game, $100,000 property, even with interest rates the way they are right now. But let's take that same $100,000 property that's on the MLS, maybe it's 120, 130,000. And we see that and it's been on there for a few days and you know everybody's got fear in, in their mind and fear in their hearts and all that stuff. Well, so does the seller, they've got the same fear. And uh, with that in mind, what we do is we'll see that property that's listed at 130,000, we'll put in our offer at 82,000. And uh, you know, we're working with a real estate agent, our realtor, we say, hey, let's do this as a cash deal. You know, we've already arranged our banking and all the things, um, you know, we know our bank will do a deal. Uh, we know what the house is worth. I mean, it may be worth $130,000, but uh, let's say we offer 82,000 and your, uh, your seller, they come back and they say, uh, you know, they're gonna do one of two things. They're gonna say, no, thank you, not counter at all. Or they're gonna counter, you know, $100 less or, you know, $1,000 less. And that pretty well tells you where they're at. They're not interested in doing a deep discount, but sometimes you get those sellers that, uh, you know, you put in an $82,000 offer on a $130,000 property and they come down to 104,000 or a hundred and, you know, 5,000, whatever the case may be, they just drop their price, you know, $25,000. Well, we know we've got a seller there, you know, we've made our offer, uh, you know, with an option and earnest money of, uh, option money of $50 and we write it in our contract, I've never had anybody complain about a $50 option. And, you know, the beauty of it is, occasionally you'll, you know, not to get off topic, because I want you to just take this uh, into mind, but with a $50, 50 and $500 option, you don't even have to go see the house. You don't even have to go waste your time, waste your time and energy to go out and see the house, because you're looking at it on Zillow or Redfin or Realtor or whatever the case may be, you see the pictures, you've got a pretty good idea of what the house is, what the potential is. You've gone on uh, Google Street View, you've seen the neighborhood, you know all the things, but you don't know the actual feel of the house. The Is it solid? Is it falling apart? You just have polished pictures in front of you in most cases. But you can use that to your advantage, you know? Let's say, you know, so you've put your low ball offer out there and you've got a seller who isn't interested in discounting it. Well, you cross that one off your list or they come back and ask, you know, don't, don't waste your time on that. Don't even go look at the house because you know that's not gonna be the opportunity for you. But the one who did come down, let's say they only came down $8,000 or $10,000. And I'm not afraid to ask for, you know, an obscene number, you know, let's, 
I, I've asked for 50% off on houses before, um, and, and I've gotten it. Um, you know, quick story, there's been two occasions where my $50 option where they immediately said, yes, we'll take your offer. And it was a silly offer. You know, it was a really deep discount, silly offer. And, uh, you know, when I, as soon as I, as soon as they accepted my offer, I knew that the house must be rough or must be uh, a, a no win. And, uh, but interestingly, you know, it, that's happened to me twice. And uh, I paid the $50 penalty each time, said, hey, I'm exercising my option. I don't want this house. But most of the time, what you get is a starting point because your $50 and $500, $50 option, your $500 earnest money, what that does is it just says, hey, this is what we're negotiating with. And very interestingly, they counter to you. Well, that doesn't even mean, you know, if you've got somebody willing to play ball with you at that point, you can go look at the house. You can say, all right, well, they're play, they're willing to play ball with us a little bit. Let's go check it out at this point. So, you know, before that, you haven't wasted any of your time, your fuel, your energy beyond looking at it on the computer. And then you get an offer back from them or a counter. So anyway, you know, it, it's kind of like fishing. You're just putting a line out in the water, seeing what you can do with it. Um, but you'd be surprised at what some of these houses will sell for. You know, we're the past three or four years, it's been, oh, give, you know, give the, give the seller whatever they want, you know, uh, whatever they ask, let's give them over and above what they're asking. Well, that's not where we're at anymore. It, right now, the, the market's much more balanced and going to a buyer's advantage. So take this tool, perhaps it's useful to you, perhaps it's not, perhaps it's garbage. But, you know, if it's, it's, if it's of value to you, hit the uh, like button. Uh, you know, consider subscribing, looking at some of our other content. But anyhow, uh, take a look at it. If you got questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. Thank you.